I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving test questions of Cambridge IGCSE. Here is question number 10 from the year 2017. It is based on logarithmic and exponential functions. A very interesting question where we are going to plot a graph on a logarithmic paper. Rare to see these days. The question here is, the table shows values of the variables t and p. t 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, p 4.39, 8.33, 15.8, and 30.0. We need to draw the graph on the graph of the l and p against t in the grid. b is Use the graph to estimate the value of P when T equals to 2.2 C. Find the gradient of the graph and, this, and then state the coordinates of the point where the graph meets the vertical axis. D. Using the answer above, show that P equals to AB to the power of T, exponential function where a and b are constants to be found. e. Find the smallest value of t correct to one decimal place for which p is at least 1000. So I have removed part of the question here just to fit into my page but it gives you the overall gist of what we need to do, right? So you can actually pause the video answer the question. Here is how I would like to do it. First thing is, we need to draw the graph of the L and P against T in the grid. So we are given P, that means we need to find the value, what is L and P. So let's use the calculator to do so. Calculator is allowed here, right? So we have this function LN. So 4.39 is equal to what? 1.479. So what I will do here is round all the numbers to two decimal places, okay? So I, I'll write this as 1.4 instead of 7, I'll write 8, 7, 9 it is, right? Now we'll do ln 8.33 equals to 2.119, so I'll write this as 2.12. Then we have ln 15.8 equals to 2.76 even, right? So 2.76 is good enough, okay. 30.0, so ln 30.0 equals to what? 3.401, 3.4 is good enough, right? 3.4, okay, 40. So now, I'll pull up the graph which was there along with the question and uh, plot the graph, perfect. So I really don't have a graph paper of this kind. So here is this graph, but okay. So we will now switch. So the values are on the side for me, right? And that is the graph. Okay, so here is the graph paper. Uh, let me copy all the values which we figured out. So L and P is uh, 1.48, 2.12, and 3.40. So let's plot these on the graph paper. So we have T on the horizontal axis, L and P on the vertical axis. First point is 1, 1 1.48. So here is 1 for you. Now 1.48 will be just shy of 1.5. 2.12 for 1.5. So 2.12, right? So 1 is here, so it'll be here, correct. Then we have 2.76. For 2, we have 2.76 closer to 8, so that is 9, this is 8, so here, right? Then we have 3.4 at 2.5, so 3 and then 3.4. So those are the points which we get. Now let's join these points and uh, draw a straight line, correct? So one word of caution here that you should not connect origin with this as you can see it is fairly close to origin do you see that zero there so it is fairly close you might just touch that then all the effort is gone 
L and P, it has to be greater than 0, right? So, at 0, it is not defined. So, that is how we can actually place the uh, points which we have and then draw the line. Is that clear, right? So, so that is how we have to draw. So, the caution here is not to go through origin. Perfect. So, let's read the other parts, which is, it says, we'll do this part here itself, which says, use the graph to estimate the value of P at 2.2. So, at 2.2, we want to find the value of P. Well, from here, we can find what L and P is. So, 2. Point, so, this is 2.5. Do you see that? So, so 2.5. 5 that means 0 5 is each right so 1 and 2 so 2.2 will be this point so that is 2.2 for us let's go up and see the l and p value and then we'll calculate is it okay that's a good value so we get 3 oh that's nice so so for 2.2 we see that l and p is equal to 3 correct okay? We need to find the value of P, right? So what is P equal to? So, so, so we know ln P is equal to 3. ln is to the base E. So the value of P will be E to the power of 3. Is it okay? So we get E to the power of 3 as our value. So if you want, you can actually calculate this also. Where is E? E is here, right? So E to the power of 3 is equal to 20.08 so we can write 20.1 here right so so the value for p is 20.01 or exact value will be e to the power of 3 right e to the power of 3 is good enough so that gives us p equals to e to the power of 3 is it okay right so we got the value of p now from the graph we can Next question here is, find the gradient of the graph and state the coordinates of the point where the graph meets the vertical axis, right? So, so I'm like moving back to the main question to show you clearly what the question is. So what we found here using the graph, the value of P at T equals to 2.2 was what? So L and P was equal to 3. So that gave us P as equal to e to the power of 3, which was approximately 20.1, right? 0, 0.8 it was. I'm writing 20.1. Is it okay? Now the next question is, find the gradient of the graph and then state the coordinates of the point where the graph meets the vertical axis. So let's figure this out. So gradient and the vertical axis intercept. So that is the intercept. So we can say intercept is, intercept here is at L and P equals to zero point. So slightly more than one, but we'll write zero point one. I mean, you know, there is an error. There could be between one and point two. We'll just take the value as zero point one. Is it okay? So we'll take the lower value of zero point one here it is somewhere in between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. Perfect from our graph. Okay, so we got this point which you can call as vertical asset intercept, L and P intercept. Now we need to find the gradient. So for gradient, uh, what should we do? Well, let's find the gradient L and P versus T. So we can use these points, L and P and uh, so we can find the gradient. Let's write down here. Gradient will be change in L and P value, right? Divided by the change in T value, correct? So let's use these two points. So the change in L and P value is 3.4 minus 1.48 divided by 2.5 minus 1. Correct? So that will be the gradient. So what we get? 3.4 minus 1.48 equals to 
uh, and then we'll divide this by within brackets 2.5 minus 1 okay so so the decimal equivalent is 1.28 so the gradient is 1.28 so remember this gradient is change in L and P because the graph is L and P right change in L and P over change in time that is what we got is it okay and the intercept for L and P is 0 0.1 right so let's write down this value back into our sheet here so we get the gradient as 1.28 I'll write down okay so we have the gradient 1.28 and uh, the intercept is at so at t equals to 0 l and p value is 0 0.1 for us so this is for for t and l and p values is it okay no okay so find the gradient of the graph and then state the coordinates of the point where the graph meets the vertical axis so the gradient is 1.28 and it meets at point 0 0.1. Using the answer above, show that P is equals to AB to the power of T, right? So uh, now we need to find the equation, right? So uh, let's find the equation now. So we have L and P that is think like Y axis, correct? So, so equation we'll write in the form Y equals to mx plus p right so that is the form in which we are going to write the equation for us the y is l and p right remember that the slope is the gradient which we just calculated which is 1.28 t is the x value and the intercept is 0 0.1 is that clear to you so that is how we are going to get our equation correct now from this particular equation, we can actually find the value of P as equal to what? So P will be equals to e to the power of all this, right? So 1.28 T plus 0 0.1. Does it make sense? So that becomes the value of P. So we get P as equal to e to the power of 1.28 T plus 0 0.1. What do we need to figure out? P equals to a b to the power of t. So we have to write this equation of the form p equals to a times b to the power of t. What we have here is p equals to e to the power of all this, right? So this is a product rule. So I could actually write this as e to the power of, we'll write 0 0.1 first, right? That is a constant times e to the power of 1.28 t. Do you see that? Now, if you compare, you get A as equal to e to the power of 0 0.1, right? And B as equal to e to the power of 1.28, correct? B to the power of T, whatever comes before that is e to the power of 1.28. So that becomes the value of B. Is that clear? Very critical part to understand. What is e to the power of 0.1? So e to the power of 0.1 is equal to 1.1 we can write this as 1.1 okay and what is e to the power of 1.28 so e to the power of 1.28 is equal to this is equal to 3 point I'll round this to 5 9 I'll write this as 5 3.6 Okay, so it is 3.5966. I'm rounding this to 3.6. So that is what we get. So A is 1.1 for us and B is 3.6 for us. Clear? So we get the value of uh, uh, A and B. Now, so we've done part D. E is Find the smallest value of t correct to one decimal place for which p is at least 1000, right? So we need to find the value of t. I think we can use this equation itself to find the value of p. 
So L and P equals to 1.28 T plus 0 0.1. So we'll rearrange this and find the value of T for P equals to 1000, right? So we want at least 1000. Okay, so we'll write this as LN 1000 equals to 1.28 T plus 0 0.1. So we need to figure out what T is. So we get LN 1000 minus 0 0.1 divided by 1.28. So that is equal to T. Is it okay? So let's figure this out. So we have LN 1000 bracket close minus 0 0.1 and we'll divide this by 1.28. We get this as equals to 5.3. Right, so we get a value which is 5.3. So that is the answer for us. The smallest value of t correct to one decimal place for which p is at least 1000 is 5.3. So we get 5.3 as answer for part E. For A and B, we found A equals to 1.1, B as 3.6. In C, the y-intercept was 0 0.1 for us. Uh, and the equation was, uh, okay, so y-intercept was 0 0.1 for us. And here we've got the value of P written and we've already shown the graph. So I hope we have answered the whole question and I hope you understand the concepts. So we have to switch between uh, exponential logarithmic function here, round our figures to one decimal place as required read the values from the graph which we did and uh, uh, that's a huge application perfect so i hope you find it interesting and useful feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos it'd be great thanks for watching and all the best